All right, welcome back. Uh, we're sitting here with Tom Marston from Energy Services Group, hey, hey. the home doctor, and my cohort, Doug. Hello. And we're going to go into, okay, now we've talked about this home energy audit, and it's really not that exciting. But we had to talk about it anyway, and it's really good stuff. We tried to make it exciting, but it really isn't. But what's exciting is the fact that you can now take the information. You give a report at the end of the home energy audit, do you not? That is correct. Okay. Gonna, they will get a report describing the energy ills and what to fix. And let's go over this quickly because we're going to do it a couple weeks in a row because this is a place where you can make money. Justification. That's the key word, isn't it, for the home energy report? I think you want to save some money. Yes, you need to justify how you're going to save that money. Okay, so I'm going to simplify this. If you come back a report and it says I need to spend 5000 bucks, uh, or it'll cost me $5,000 to do my furnace, insulation, and put windows on the north side of the house, and you're going to save $100 a month in energy savings, but over 30 years that's only going to cost you about $60 a month, the government will give you, loan you that money, even if you're 100% financed in your house. Paul, Paul, they're called energy improvement mortgages if you're in an existing home and energy efficient mortgages if you're about to buy a brand new, newly built home. Right. And lenders are allowed to borrow up to, and it depends on the new existing, but new homes, 5% of the appraised value and 15%. If it's an existing home of the appraised value, they will loan you if that in energy investment is cost-effective. And by cost-effective, your audit tells them what is cost-effective. These four items will cost you 50 bucks a month for the next 30 years, but you're going to save $60 a month. And then Fannie Mae or the lending institution that goes to Fannie Mae, and she's not a person, she's a... Uh, government-backed securities program yes. or something like that. There you go. Very good. <laughs> I'm putting right on the spot. But anyway, Fannie Mae will then give your lender the money, and they will loan you 15% of the value of the house, if it's an older house, up even if you're 100% financed. So if you're maxed out on your house but you need these improvements, or if you're going with a real estate agent and you're looking at a house and you love the house but it needs improvement, you can actually get this money from the government, and it will pay for itself. Is so it like a guaranteed student loan that they have to give it to you if you qualify? Uh, I believe so. Regardless of your have, credit rating or credit history? I, I, you know, credit rating, if you have a terrible credit rating, you're not going to get the loan. Well, really? imagine, well, wait, wait a second. If you can qualify for the $200,000 home that you're looking at right. and planning to buy, right. what we're saying is the additional $30,000 is an investment in energy savings. So if those, if that investment is cost-effective then they can't deny you that you already qualify for the base price $200,000 home. Well, there answers the question. Yes. So this was the important piece of information we wanted to get to people on the first show is find out about home energy audits, okay, and then how to use them. So, okay, so I find out I want to updo my furnace, I want to upgrade, uh, I want to do some more insulation, um, I need to wrap my hot water heater, and your audit says if I do those three things, I'm going to save $75 a month. And then we amortize the cost of it over 30 years. Is that right? So we break it down over 30 years because that's how it will be loaned to you. And I'll be making money if it only costs $55 a month, won't I? I'll be making money off of this. I'll be yes. making 25 bucks. So you can do more, but if you just pick those items that justify, keyword, justify, then you're going to make money off of this. Let me give you one more way you make money off of this. If you buy a $200,000 home and you make $15,000 worth of energy investment in it, and you're now paying off that mortgage, seven years later you decide to sell your home, most of the lending institutions recognize the $15,000 as hard dollars invested. Your house is now appraising at $215,000. You haven't yet truly put $215,000 into your house, but it's immediately appreciated in value because of your energy investments. Wow. So that's dollar for dollar equity on top of your sweat equity. That's correct. Wow. That's, and you can't get that any, anywhere else. All right. So we close. Doug's counting it down. Um, so we're going to move on to another section. We're going to spend more time on this next week because it is a key piece of saving you time 
energy and money and maybe even putting some money in your pocket and it doesn't cost you that much to do it and eventually everybody's going to be doing this so we want to get that information out to you we're going to move on to our next section and we thank tom who will be here through the end of the show so what do we have next we have our weekly green hero paul this week's green hero comes to us from mexico it seems that there's a professional wrestler from our neighbor in the south that has begun to wrestle for the environment to bring you more in this story, we go to Professor Cletus T. Beaumont, our forensic roadkill pathologist who's on location in Mexico. Professor? Hello from down here in Mexico. I'm just finishing up my lunch. Where in Mexico are you, Professor? Well, it's it's a small town called Tijuana. <laughs> I've heard of it. Yeah, well, there's a lot going on here, but I have to applaud this Mexican wrestler that I ran into. He was actually wrestling a bunch of anti-environmentalists who were trying to steal some eggs eggs what sort of eggs professor well there was an endangered sea turtle eggs ah and why, why would people be stealing the eggs or why would he need to protect oh i can't believe i just did that why would he need to protect the eggs <laughs> well apparently people are taking these eggs because they make you feel younger when you eat them okay. i'm not sure what that means but that's what they're telling me okay and what is he doing exactly down there, Professor? Well, he's pointing out to all the young people and going to the schools and talking to them about what the eggs are really for and how to keep people from stealing eggs and treating animals wrong. Okay. Well, I, we appreciate the report, Professor. And uh, Good. I need to get back to my lunch. There's very a good. Of, a lot of good roadkill down here. You finish your lunch, Professor, and we're going to take this back to the studio. Paul, what's our next segment? Well, actually, we've got to say goodbye. We have just a little bit of time left. And I thought I'd thank everybody. Thanks to CMI Electric, Tom Marston. Hey, it was a great time, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back next week with his partner. Thanks to Doug, Statman. Uh, let people know that if we got anything wrong, call us, write us. I'm sure you will. Uh, give us stats and information. We're here to bring you the information. Um, we got SunTrust Mortgage and my eco agent to thank. And I want to thank Mark Unruh, who has done a beautiful job with the music. The music you'll be hearing is original music by Mark Unruh. Lastly, let me say that we are just like everybody else here. We don't know everything, and we're struggling too. I have a hard time remembering to recycle. Plastic? Where's the glass? I don't want to sell my car. I love my car. But I'm going to drive it about one twentieth the amount of time I did. We just thought we'd get together, put on the show, and try to see if we couldn't find the gems, the opportunities to save you money, make your life better, and give you some information. The important thing is that you're trying. That's huge. Whatever you're doing is great. The rest will come. Change is good, but it ain't easy. So let's have some fun while we try some new things. And just maybe your home won't be a beach in 50 years. Uh, well, actually, that might be a good thing, wouldn't it, if you had beachfront property? Um, I'm going to be joined by a lot of guests, a lot of celebrities, politicians, activists, dancers, soap stars, grandmothers, farmers, city folk. So sit back on Sunday and relax. Have brunch on us. Please don't send us the bill. Uh, we'll try to get to the questions that matter the most to you. Uh, we'll try to bring to light the new technology, the information that can help you, save you money, make your life more comfortable. We definitely see opportunities in this, a lot of them. And most of all, go ahead and call in. Write us as much as you can. We're not going to get everything right. Vote for Sanjaya over and over and over again. You can reach us at greenfox at thegreatgreenhomeshow.com or 443-553-5888. And we'll see you next week right here at the Great Green Home Show on Sunday. Bye now.